for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a beauty haul and I'm going to show you what I bought. So first from, uh, I believe I got this from CVS. I'm pretty sure. It's a Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I already made a video on this, but I put it back in the packaging to make it look more legit, you know? So, I've been using this mascara, and I absolutely love it. But I don't want to talk too much about it, because I already made a full video review demonstration on it. Next, from Ulta, I picked up a couple lip products. For lip products, I finally found the NYX Butter Glosses. This one's in the shade Eclair. I love this baby pink. It is so pretty, and these are very, very smooth and comparable to the Buxom lip glosses that I love so much. So, I finally got my hands on one, and then they were having buy one, get one 50% off. So, I saw that they had their regular lip glosses in stock, too. So, I picked up this NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss, and it's in the color beige. It's just a My Lips But Better color, which I love, and it smells like cherry Tootsie Pops. And then, I wanted a chapstick that's actually like um, a chapstick form and not like a um, lip butter like I've been using from Nivea where you have to keep putting your finger in. I just wanted something that was actually like a chapstick for my purse because when I'm out and about I don't like dipping my finger in you know because of germs and everything. So I picked up the Burt's Bees Nourishing Lip Balm with Mango Butter and this smells amazing. I've been obsessed with mangoes and mango tea, so I really wanted to get this. And plus the cap is orange. I love orange. Speaking of orange, I decided to pick up the China Glaze Son of a Peach Nail Polish. This is gorgeous. This is my new favorite orange nail polish. I never found one that I absolutely love. And I found it. It's just so beautiful. I'm actually wearing it on my nails and my toes. And just love it. And then I went to the dollar store, and sometimes I look in the beauty section to see if they have anything. This time I found two items from CoverGirl. They came in these cute little pouches, too. The first one is, like, this blackhead um, type of tool. I don't know what it's really called, but you just, like, scrape it up against your nose, like, after you get out of the shower when your pores are really open, and it just, like, scrapes all of the blackheads and all the gray stuff in your nose out. And I used one of these before, and it was really, really, like, harsh on my nose. Like, it really scraped my skin, and it left my nose raw. But this one, it's not that sharp, but it actually does work. So I'm really impressed with this CoverGirl tool for a dollar. I never even seen these CoverGirl items anywhere else except for the dollar store. So I don't know. And then I went ahead and got this fingernail clipper. I basically bought it because I thought it was really cool, like the rainbow design, because I have an OPI cuticle pusher that is like the same like titanium rainbow. Um, I think that's what it's called. I tried this nail clipper out yesterday and it seemed like it wasn't too sharp. I mean it still cut my nails, but it wasn't too sharp. But I mean, it was a dollar. Next from MAC, I picked up a new lipstick. It is in the color Hue. And I always hear people talking about this lipstick, so I wanted to give it a try. I was looking for more of a neutral shade, but like a neutral peach shade. And usually all my lipsticks are like a neutral pink or just a light pink. So I wanted to try this lipstick out, and I've been using it, but the first time that I used it, I was actually out and about walking around in the sun, and I guess the heat went through my purse because it's really messed up. I'm going to have to put this in the refrigerator to see if it will get back to its shape because it's really messed up, but I really like the shade of this. It's just a really nice, neutral, everyday color. And then I also decided to pick up an eyeshadow that everybody has except for me of course. It's from MAC and it's called All That Glitters. I mean it's nothing really special, it's just a really nice um, light champagne color. I actually already did a tutorial using that eyeshadow because I bought it like I think like a month or three weeks ago so I've had it for a while but it's so gorgeous, absolutely stunning and I have it in my little MAC quad palette. Okay and then from Sephora 
I believe a couple weeks ago it was, they had all their nail polishes 50% off at Sephora. The Sephora by OPI brand. Because they're coming out with some other type of Sephora nail polishes. I don't even know. That's what the girl was telling me anyway. But I was really like surprised because I thought they sold really good, but I guess they didn't. But I really like Sephora nail polishes and I have two that I've been wanting for a really long time. So I decided now is the time to get it. They're 50% off. So the first one I decided to get is this really pretty rose gold copper glitter. And this is in the color Traffic Stopper Copper. So I guess it's like a copper, not rose gold, but looks really pretty on top of rose gold nail polishes, any neutral white nail polishes. So if your Sephora still has these on sale, this is a really gorgeous, unique glitter that I really like. And then this is my all-time favorite red nail polish. This is just amazing. My mom loves this nail polish as well. And it is, again, Sephora by OPI. It's in the color Curve. It's the most gorgeous pigmented red ever. It, it's just an amazing candy apple red nail polish that is perfect for the winter time. It's just the best. And then I received a package from Sedona Lace um, this week and I've been testing out these brushes. And it came in a really cute little bag like this with the little um, holders for the brushes that go on top of the hairs and a couple little eyeshadow samples but it's the Midnight Lace Face Set and they asked me to pick out a set of um, brushes on their website and I heard a ton of good reviews on these brushes so I decided to pick these out. They're very very soft. I love how the bristles are pink. So far I like them a lot. If you would like for me to do a separate review on these brushes just let me know in the comments down below. But that's about it for this haul and I will see everybody in my next video. Take care. Bye.